I'm Björn and I work for Aris. I work for the Ures project and I um, am a developer. For me, the project was really uh, a, a learning curve because for, as, I, as I started as a young graduate, you do, actually don't know anything. We were taught how Scrum works, how the, and you have the full stack environment, front end and the back end. You get a lot of information and you learn quite a lot uh, in a very short time. And you see yourself grow in these kind of situations. I think that if you join a company as a young graduate, you should listen. You should be like more like a sponge instead of somebody who thinks that he knows it. Because in most of those cases, you probably won't. If you join Iris, I'm pretty sure that whatever project you join, they will actually help you reach your full potential because they will listen to what you want, um, but they will give you the tools, the basic tools to start with. So it's not because you don't know anything that they will just drop you and say, hey, you have to do this. And if you do bad, they will punish you. The team and, and your, your, especially your team lead um, is always open for whatever suggestion you have. If you want to develop in a certain way and say like, hey, maybe I'm interested in these kind of things. Um, is it possible that on the project we have that I can gradually learn more in this direction? And they're very open to these kind of um, changes in your part because eventually they want you to be happy on the project you're working on and developing in a certain way makes people happy. So that's what they will allow you to. It's not an issue to ask for a training that even though it might not be 100% related to the project you're currently working on, but if it's still related to the type of job you act, you're, you're performing, then they will still allow you to have this kind of training in order to make you grow uh, and follow your own path. I feel very happy at Aris because mainly the colleagues that work here, it doesn't feel like they're just co-workers. It's not about only work, it's also the friendship that you build with them. It's not like you go to work and you work your hours and you go back home and you didn't have much social interaction. No, it's you, you do your job, of course, and you work with not just co-workers, but with actual friends.